What's up, guys? Dustin, you here, back with the NHL 13 GMO number three with the Winnipeg Jets. And we're at the trade deadline in year two, or season two, I guess. We're 40, 16, and six. Um, we've been off and on the last little bit. I don't know what to even think about it. Uh, did I need to... Did I put... I'm trying to think. What did I do last time? Did I put Pavlik? Pavlik is still in that, is he? How many wins is he? Loss is 13. I feel like I should have put Nabokov in that. Yeah, Nabokov. Blah, 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 blah. Okay. Simulate. So we're going to go into the trade deadline. I'm just going to quickly peek and see if there is anything that I get offered. I'm just. I, I don't have a feeling I want to trade anything, but. You know, there's 20 games left. I want to see. What we can get if they offer something. I didn't really do anything to our trade block. Like, we didn't really make a huge change or anything. I have Nabokov in a first round or something on there. So, I don't think I'm going to be offered really anything at all. But, meh. We'll see. We'll see what happens here. Alright, so nothing for those hours. I had Masichek on there. But, I mean, obviously I traded him for Tar Tarasenko with kind of a big deal. A trade and then... Yeah, got a second round pick back from Boston for the guys I picked up from uh, there. So, yeah, I don't know. And in the offseason, I'm going to have to refill my club, basically, because we're kind of slowing down. What? Victor Stahlberg for Martin Brodeur? Now I've seen everything. New Jersey's giving up on life. I mean, Brodeur's like 43 in this game now, I think. 42 or 43. I don't know why they would have traded for him. That's kind of silly. But whatever. <laughs> yeah. He's going to retire after this year anyway, so I don't know why they would want Martin Broder. That, like, doesn't make any sense because they have Corey Crawford, who's probably a decent goalie. Yeah, I don't think we're going to get off of him. And why would they trade away? That is that is probably the, one of the dumbest trades I've ever seen. The The GM brain, like, it's hard to, it's sometimes hard to make trades with the GMs. But they make the dumbest trades between each other. Like, it makes no sense. Like, literally, just like, you're like, what? You made what trade? Like, seriously. It's just, oh my god, it's insane. It's pretty disgusting. Yeah, I don't think we're going to get any trades. Um, I wonder if I could uh, trade up our Phoenix first. They're starting to slow down. Like, Phoenix started to drop off a little bit. Um, I know New York was struggling. New York, and who's the other team? I think it was Anaheim, actually. They want the... Oh, yeah. Holy crap, look at their first round. My goodness. My goodness gracious, that's crazy. Um, That's weird. They, they don't want our first round? Oh, they do want our first round. Okay. Hmm. What could I offer them? As a trade, what could I offer them? I don't know if there's anything I could offer them that they would take. Odell, Postma. Trade them Postma. Trade them Postma. Oh, that's not even going to go through. They have too many players. Ask ah, it. I'm not going to worry about it. I'll, I'll look at trades, like going into the trade deadline, or the, the draft, sorry. Because we want to move up, I'd like to get uh, Ekblad and maybe that goalie. There was a good goalie. He was like, well, he he was five stars. I'm dra I'm scouting him right now, so I don't know how good he's actually going to turn out. But yeah, him and Ekblad, Aaron Ekblad is actually he's he actually looks good this year. Normally Ekblad, uh, like you guys have always been like, oh get Ekblad, and then he just turns out to be trash, and you're like, oh my god, great. All right, so, um, yeah, Nabokov is in the net, and we're going to start the sim to the end of the season. Hopefully we can stay in fourth place, maybe move up. We're only, I think we're, yeah, we're three points behind Carolina, so big game coming up here. All right, let's do the sim. All right, so got a sim one game at a time, so we got Detroit first. All right, 5-4 win, very nice. St. Louis up next. Come on, Nabokov. All right, 2-1 loss. <laughs> got to put Pavlik back in it here. And go five games. All right, Carolina. We got to try and catch Carolina here. We need to pick up some wins against them. Ah, uh, three-two loss. All right. 
Seriously, Kane, you gotta pick it up, man. He's been sitting at 28 Gs for a while here. All right, 2-1 win. There we go against Tampa. We got Boston. Uh, 4-2 loss. God, come on, Kane. What are you doing on the first line? Philly, come on. All right, so Kane scores two goals finally. And we beat Philly 3 nothing. Jeez, like, just score some goals, man. So you're on the first line. All right, scored again, and we win 4-1. Nice. All right, so we got Florida. Come on, Kane. Keep scoring. Well, he didn't score, but we got six a 6-2 six win, so that's good. Uh, nice. There we go. 7-4 uh, loss. Wow. That's brutal. So we, uh, we're over... Yeah, we're... Are we over? Yeah, we're over uh, 100 points right now. Except we keep losing. So I'm going to switch back into Bakov because uh, Pavlik's already got the, his five losses, which is brutal. Okay, Ottawa. 5-4 win. Carolina again. Come on, Nabokov. Big win. Big win, big win, big win. 4-2 loss. <laughs> Jeez. Yeah, I don't know what it is, but they just... I don't know. We just can't beat... Uh, can't beat Carolina. I don't know what it is, but you know, whatever. All right, Florida, four nothing went very good. I think whenever Kane scores, we actually like win. Oh, Philly. Okay, we won that one without Kane. He just scores whenever he wants to. All right, two goals and we win six two against Pittsburgh. Very nice. Okay, so we're we're onto. Uh, since putting in Pavlik, we're on a little bit of a streak, I guess. Washington, big game. All right, four two win. Uh, da, da, da. Boston Bruins. Come on, guys. Oh, one nothing, and we're going to do scouting quickly. I want to look at the goalies. In Was it the goalies or was it defensemen? No, I'm going to look at the D in the U.S., I think. Yeah, the U.S. had some good D, I think. Um, Yeah, U.S., we're going to go there. All right, so we got one more game against the Islanders. All right. And big win. All right. Big 7 nothing win at the end there. Um, 53, 23, and 6. So our best season yet. Um, we finished with 112 points, which is pretty good. So let's see where we finished. I don't think we're going to finish first. I think Carolina started to like kind of sneak away from us there. But we'll see. Um, so team standings in the West. Minnesota, 105 points. San Jose, 104. Edmonton 104. Wow, Detroit, who won the Stanley Cup last year, finished with 86 points. Not good. In the East, yeah. So Carolina with 119. We finished with 112. We finished fourth place. You know, that that's kind of tough. I didn't, like, our team, we don't even have the greatest team, you know. We don't have the best team. We, we have a really good first line. Like, not really good, but it's a pretty solid first line. But that's about it. That's literally all we have. And they were, for the longest time, Kane was stuck at 28 goals, so... I mean, he finished with 37, which is nice, but... So we did we did finish second in the league overall, but... You know, obviously I would have liked to see a bit better. Uh, Kane finished seventh with scoring, or, yeah, goals. Uh, points... No, nothing. We ain't got nothing. Uh, Pavlik finished with the most wins, 41. Uh, save percentage, Pavlik... Pavlik did pretty good. Uh, obviously, for his wins, I think he's going to win the Vesna again. Uh, Backstrom has a chance at winning the Vesna, like he had a little bit better stats, but I mean Pavlik had six more wins, right? So it's kind of hard to say. So let's. Um, I don't know how many games are left. Um, how many games? Does anyone have any games still? Uh, I have no idea if anybody has. I'm assuming there's a team with a game still, right? Oh no, everybody's won. All right, so I'm not gonna, we're not gonna peek yet and see who we faced. Uh, I want to just take a look at our player stats and stuff, and then I'll sim ahead a day and we'll see who we take on. Um, whoever finished fifth, I didn't even look, but <laughs> that'll that'll be the team. All right, so 82 games. So Stasny finished with 69 points. Um, so the biggest thing I want to see is how good our best players did compared to last year. So 69 points, 64. So Stasny should get better. He's a four and a half star player. He should get better. I mean, he is 28. But even if he gets to an 86, you know, I'll be happy if he increases by one. Like, his plus minus were way better. You know, it's he had a lot better of a season. Uh, Vander Kane, obviously, he did better than last year. He had 51 points. So he had 67 this year. That's, like, almost... That's, like, very close to almost 20 more points. 
Um, obviously, he had his best uh, scoring year, and as a sniper, that's that's really good. So hopefully, he can get at least an 88. If he doesn't get an 88, you know, eh, 87 isn't bad. But I'd love I'd love to see him get up to an 88. Like, there's no reason he's on like all the lines and stuff. If he if he should be able to get up to an 88 as a four and a half star yellow. Uh, little 61 points. He did way better that he got 11 more points than last year. He's a four-star player, so I'd like to see him get at least an 86 as well. If he can get to an 87, that'd be sick. Uh, Shifley had a pretty solid year, 55 points. He had a better year than he did in the AHL last year, so uh, he's a 79. I'd like to see him jump up to, like, I, th I feel like he could be at least an 84. I don't know. Dougie Hamilton, oh, my God. So disgusting. 48 points. Um, he, he should definitely be in the mid-80s. I don't know. He's not even a offensive like he's a like look he's got good shooting category like his his power is great his slap shot and wrist shot accuracy aren't the best um, I'd like to see his defensive awareness look, kind of jump up a little bit but he is a two way D man so you know what as a he's uh, as a depth defenseman he did really well uh, Wheeler forty six points I feel like he's gonna get worse he's kind of dropped every year so and he's only a four star player so I don't know uh, big buff. Uh, oh, he did get a he did get one more point better than last year, so he's probably he'll probably stick around 87. I mean, he's a four star player. Uh, Leopold, I think yeah, he's like he's 33, so I don't know. Like he did better than his last two years, so he might get better. But if he, even if he stays in 84, I'll be happy. Lad, not even good. I don't even know what to do with him. He's been like, look, he's just slowly getting worse and worse. And as you age, you think you'd get a little bit better because you kind of, like, see how the league is. It's not like he's slowing down, right? Like, he's only 28. That's just it's a sad excuse. Um, Bogo, I'm kind of unsure about Bogo. He'll probably stay around the same. He might get better, but, like, 30 points is still good, obviously. He's a 2 AD man, so if he can get better, that'd be sick. Hainsey, doesn't even matter. Tarasenko, uh, he had a better year than last year. He played four more games, obviously, but... Whatever, that means he got more experience because he played four more games. So hopefully he can get better. Um, obviously, I put him on the second line, so he got a bit more playing time and stuff. And I put him on the power play too. So I don't know. I'm hoping that he can get better, but we'll see, obviously. <laughs> uh, more doesn't matter. Burmistrov, 21 points, not as good as last year. He's probably going to get worse again. I I don't know what to do with him. It's kind of sad. I may, I don't know. Maybe I should just... Like, how old is he? 22? Maybe I should play him in the AHL next year. Just let him rip it up. But but that at the same time, he's a third-line scorer, right? So I don't want him to get progressively worse. Uh, Goalie-wise, Pavlik, another great year compared to last year. I mean, yeah, he played less games. He got the same amount of wins, though, in less games. Um, less losses. Uh, his goals against was actually better. Was his save percentage up there? No. Yeah, so his goals against was better than last year. He won the Vesna last year. Save percentage was better than last year. He had one less shutout, but he played like ten less games, right? And so I I feel like he'll probably win the Vesna again. Like that's a pretty sick year for him. Like I said, like he played twelve less games and had one less shutout and better stats. Uh, so I feel like he should be a better Novakov twelve four and one. You know, I mean, that's pretty much all you want out of a backup. Like he did really good. Uh, he started off a lot better. Like he was like five zero and one or something. But you know what? I can't really get mad at him. He had two shutouts for us. Um, that's not what I want to do. I want to look at player stats. I want to see how Dougie Hamilton finished among... Because he had 48 points. I want to see how he finished among the actual like defensemen in the league. Uh, so NHL, it's kind of nice that we're right beside the NHL here. Uh, so points, Tavares and Spezza tied with 86 points. Uh, Giroux had 85. Host with 83. Nuge with 82. Um... Wow, where's where's Crosby? Oh my God, seventy-one points! Wow, buddy, pick it up there. Uh, I think Ovechkin had the most goals. Yeah, forty-two goals. He led the league. Evander Kane is getting there though. You know, like hopefully he can increase a little bit more. So, uh, who had the most assists? Let's see. Backstrom, obviously. Um, <laughs> that's kind of a no-brainer. Uh, Pims, McQuaid. I'm assuming. Yeah. <laughs> Plus minus Spurgeon. Okay, that's not bad. Oh, Paul Stasny, nice. Plus 27, that's pretty good. Um, Hosa had a lot of power play goals there. Shorthanded goals, who does that? Sharp, nice. Uh, okay, so I want to... Oops, I want to see 
In terms of D man, where I want to see where uh, Dougie Hamilton finished. That's pretty sick. So he finished six, like sixth best defenseman as a rookie, seventy six, as a twenty year old. Like that is dirty. He's gonna be, like, there's no reason he should get worse. Well, obviously he's not gonna get worse, but I mean, like, I want him to be a mid eighties next year. He should get that good. I know I've seen him at like nine above ninety in our GMs. So, like, hopefully he can get. I even if he gets to mid eighties, that'd be sick. And then obviously he'll get better. So, um. Goalie wise, obviously Pavlik had the most wins. Uh, he had pretty good save goals against. I mean, Tim Thomas had pretty good, but yeah, I don't know. Like Pavlik won the, like I said, he won the the Vezina last year. So if he doesn't win the Vezina again, I'll be a little bit surprised because he had better stats. I mean, he played less games, obviously, but he had the same amount of wins, and his stats were better. So I don't know. Okay, so let's see. That was a great finish to the season two, seven nothing win. Let's see who we face here. Um, I think it's gonna be the Islanders for some reason. I don't know why I think of that, but I. Oh, it's Philly. Okay, so we're taking on the Philadelphia Flyers in the first round this year. And uh, let's just look at. I'll just quickly check out the playoff tree really fast. Uh, this is a bit longer of an episode just because I wanted to get in depth with the stats and stuff. Um, yeah, so Carolina, Montreal, the Islanders, Panthers, Maple Leafs, Bruins, Jets, and the Flyers. Uh, the Wild against the Blues, uh, the Sharks and the uh, Coyotes, Blackhawks and Predators, Oilers, and the Flames. Ooh, Battle of Alberta. And actually, sorry, I wanted to take a look at our team stat. I just want to see how our team did in terms of stats. Like, obviously, we finished second overall with points, but... Uh, goals for we were second, so that's actually pretty good. Uh, goals against, uh, not quite the best. Very close though. Edmonton did wow. Edmonton, holy crap. Edmonton, Minnesota. Um, what was our power play seventeen point nine tenth? That's pretty decent. Uh, PK eighty six point one best in the league. Home twenty eight ten and three twenty five thirteen. All right, perfect. So. I feel like we should be able to beat the Flyers. There's really no question about it. We finished with t 10 more wins than them and fi finished second in the league. So, All right, so we'll uh, do that next time. Thanks for watching, guys.